a circuit from an easy to make sine wave generator. This is the electronic circuit. Here the transistor, the amplifying elements, here the phase shifting network. I want to demonstrate now how it sounds. This is the waveform, very pure, operating on 9.4 volts. And when you want to make other uh, frequencies, change the value from this capacitor. These three capacitors at the same time have to be changed. And also this capacitor could be changed, especially when you go to higher uh, frequencies. At the moment the circuit works on 1 kilohertz approximately. Um, but when you want to go to 20 kilohertz or so, or 10 kilohertz, uh, change this capacitor, these three capacitors, and at the same time. So, for instance, 10 nanofarad, 10 nanofarad, and also here 10 nanofarad. And when you want to go to real high frequencies, above 15 kilohertz, this capacitor here must be a ceramic capacitor. When it's not ceramic, the whole circuit doesn't work. You can also change here the voltage divider at the base uh, when it doesn't want to work on higher frequencies. Take for instance a 25k potentiometer and one electrode from the potentiometer via a, 10, uh, sorry, a 1k resistor to the positive lead to prevent the transistor from burning out. It's a very easy circuit. It's also a completely classical circuit in the electronic uh, series. I've made this circuit uh, quite a few times and also experimented a lot with this circuit. For instance, when I made here a potentiometer from 1K, you can slightly change the sine wave frequency. But the sine wave oscillator has one important property, and that is that its frequency is very constant. It does not want to change much uh, the frequency, for instance, when you change the supply voltage. And this is completely not the case when you make a square wave oscillator. So it has, a, a cert, in a certain way, it wants to retain um, the frequency. I want to demonstrate it now somewhat. Put on the sound. And now I'm changing the supply voltage. It goes to uh, 138 hertz, but at 50 volts there's not so much change in the frequency. So an effective changing uh, from the frequency can only be uh, realized by changing these capacitors and these resistors and the back coupling uh, capacitor. But the function from the back coupling capacitor is only that it uh, gives the signal back and keeps the oscillating going, oscillation going. That's the function from this capacitor. 
and here is the frequency dependent uh, unit the phase shifting unit that is um, decisive for the frequency and these two uh, uh, resistors set the uh, BC547B to its working point so when it doesn't work uh, changing the this resistor or that one or user potentiometer uh, to, ke to um, keep it working.